This is Raised to Life by Fuel Music. Uh, this is the piano part. We will also do an aux keys video for this one. Um, important to set the tempo to 69, tempo of the song. That will control a delay time and a pulse time. Um, so I want to walk you through... Sorry, uh, I want to walk you through some of the uh, some specific notes that I called out in the song, and then I'm just going to demonstrate it for you. I get my metronome set up for that, which I should have done before starting the video, but um, forgot to. All right, so the parts for this one, starting at this D, we have the pre-octaved, pre-delayed piano for you, as heard in the intro. and it repeats, and that's all you do with that, and that's as far as that goes. Uh, below that is basically, uh, you're playing the, the rest of the song in the rest of the range. Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, and there's some funkiness to how things are layered, but you don't need to worry about it as long as you just play uh, what, I've, uh, what I demonstrate for you. There is that, that pulsing thing. Is, um, there you can hear it clearly. That's in a very constrained range of the keyboard so that when you're playing with octaves you're never sounding more than one of those pulses at the same time. So the split is very particular and therefore the inversions that you play in is going to be very particular. There are going to be times when you need to play octaves with your left hand and times when you don't play octaves. Um, and something you don't really ever want to do is is a fifth because you'll get that you'll get a really gross tone in there and then down uh, towards the lower end the pulse disappears and that will be useful both to keep things clean and for a particular part of the song where we don't want that pulse <coughs> so your intro your left hand is going to be combined with this And I made a mistake, go down. Then you're going to come here. This is verse one, it's just changes. And you see how I'm just doing octaves in my left hand, which is going to catch just enough of the pulse. Now tell me, death, where is your sting? Now I want to pause and call that out. This is the transition between verse 1 and the chorus. Uh, you're playing that chord on the last word, God, and you're letting it ring out for three counts or so before you start the, um, the seesaw motion. So, um, By the perfect Lamb of God. Three, four. Jesus Christ. Now your quarter motion for this uh, chorus. My sin atoned. Now watch us on raised. It's just changes only. So this heart that once was dead has been born again, and that's your quarter motion, but then on raised to life in you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you're going to um, changes only on the G and the A, and then you're back into a turnaround. <coughs> so that last line and into the turnaround. Once was dead, has been born again, and raised to 
life in It's a double Verse 2 is going to be quarter motion. Whoops. Praise to the one who said my anchor holds within the veil, if you prefer. Two, three, four, five, six, chorus. This song Pushing through these changes this time. This is a D, and you're going to keep motion for four counts. Okay, so when we're coming out of that chorus into that instrumental... Sorry, uh, coming out of that chorus into the instrumental bridge uh, where you were just playing changes on the G and A before for grace to life. Uh, this time you're going to keep driving through those and you're going to get to a D and you're going to keep full motion for four counts before you get to that instrumental bridge. So, grace to life again. Four is a weird count, it feels a little short. Uh, and then when you get to the bridge, it's just, it's really open voicings, single note left hand. Keep that on for the bridge. First time through this bridge is just uh, changes only. And the quarter motion starts on this D. And if you cannot hold me. And obviously we're back to full voicing here. D, eight counts this last time. <laughs> Chorus. Jesus Christ. Down to your tag. Through this D, keep going full motion for eight counts, but decrescendo the whole time. Five, six, seven. Back to open changes. Oh, sorry. Um, on that, when we get to the, the very last tag, this is the part where I said you'll come down here so that we drop the motion. And that's an octave lower than it's voiced in the recording, but that's about the only way we can cut the motion out of it. So that was a little quick, but coming out through the tag there, this heart that was almost dead has been uh, born again and raised to life again. That last D, keep your motion going solid for eight beats, but decrescendo across it. Then go to open voicing on the last line with only the lower of your octaves. <clears throat> so top of the tag to this heart that once was dead.
There you go. And I think there's a there's a better better voicing for those open chords. Something like that. All right. I kind of played through it while I was talking to you about it, so I think we've got everything we need there.